decided to do a little bit of an experiment with temperature and uh, basically the setup that I have is a 120 AC to 12 volt DC converter power supply. Uh, it's capable of putting out 30 amps at 12 volts and what I have here is a thermoelectric coupler on top of an aluminum heatsink and a little bowl of lukewarm water um, can hold my finger in it, no problem. I've done some experimentation with this thermoelectric coupler. Uh, they say it draws about 5 amps at 12 volts. And it makes, they say it can make a 30 degrees Celsius difference between the two sides when it's turned on. So I'm going to see what happens when I turn it on. I have a pan on it. This pan is room temperature. You can hold it no, with no problem. So put the pan on there and to see how much heat the thermoelectric coupler can transfer from the water to the pan, I'm going to see if it is if it, um, able to melt some butter. So there's some butter and I'm going to accord, plug it in. So we can see that this is on, fan is going, and we'll see how long it takes to melt some butter. Yeah, it looks like it's starting to melt it. Definitely melting it. Let's see if I can get the temperature of the water. Eh, still lukewarm water. So while this is going, basically what a thermoelectric coupler does is it has two sides to it. There's the side that's up against the aluminum heat sink and the side that's up against the pan. And what it does is when it gets a voltage across it, it moves or transfers energy from one side to the other. In this case I have it pulling heat energy from the heat sink and putting it into the pan. And the neat thing about these is they work the other way too. Um, you can hook them up backwards so if I were to switch the leads on the power supply it would pull energy from the pan and put it into the water and warm up the water. Right now it's pulling energy from the water so the water temperature so the water temperature should be going down as this pan temperature goes up it looks like it's melting the butter just fine and then back to the thermo thermoelectric coupler uh, an iffy thing about it is if you have the uh, temperature differential so right now it's going to be hot on top cold on the bottom um, it'll actually generate a voltage on the output so if I were to disconnect these and hook them up to a voltmeter, I would read some kind of voltage. So it looks like it melted the butter pretty well. Still have lukewarm water. Pretty toasty. Piece of aluminum is lukewarm. Now, if I'm correct, yeah, it's kind of lukewarm. It should be cold. If it were pressed up against there, um, it would be pretty cold. Pressed up against there. 
nice thing about aluminum is it transfers heat pretty well. So that's why I have the aluminum heat sink and water. And I did some experimentation with this yesterday, not with uh, butter or anything. But basically what I did is um, had the thermoelectric coupler flipped upside down. Uh, so it was like this, and this should be the cold side. And it's actually kind of hot for some reason. Ow, that's really hot. <laughs> that wasn't too smart. So, I'll have a nice little bit of a burn there. So, all it's doing is taking energy from the heatsink, putting it into whatever's on the other side of the thermoelectric coupler, and, uh, cool thing.